Hello and welcome to Angel Messages with Elena, and this is Elena. Thank you for joining me for your daily Capricorn Oracle reading with the Power Animals of the Planet Oracle and Companion Guide by Ellen Brindman. Today is February 2nd, and we are talking about the Ray to Solar Plexus and the Third Eye Chakra, the Soul, and the Crown, the Law. So it's Ray, Soul, Law. Very cool. Lots of things are happening today, and our power animal is the raven. Now, we've gotten a raven before, and this is the third day in a row that we have winged messengers. Whenever you get into winged messengers, it's time to really pay attention. Messages are coming through. Ravens are intelligent, adaptable birds who have coexisted with humans for centuries. They learn through observation, often mimicking other animals. In folklore, ravens are messenger birds who carry divine sources of knowledge between realms. They are seen as mysterious, prophetic, and full of magic. They know when to speak and when to observe, and these strengths have earned them the title of the secret keepers. Are you tuning in to your higher vibration? It is important during this time to remove yourself from unnecessary distractions so that you are open to receiving spiritual messages. Communication from the divine often comes in the form of synchronicities. Most common are repeated patterns, seeing an animal three times in a row, such as we've seen three winged messengers in a row, or repeated numbers noticing on a digital clock as it reads 1111 or 333. Further communication with the divine may come in the form of unexplained sounds, flashes of light, or familiar scents that seem, seem to come from nowhere. Be mindful of any thoughts, feelings, or activities taking place in the moments leading up to these occurrences, and trust your intuition for their meanings. Call upon the spirit of Raven, and he will serve as a bridge, ready to connect you to the divine who loves you beyond measure. The spirit of Raven's affirmation for today is, I am in tune with the divine energy that surrounds me. The light in me honors the light in others. Now, it's really interesting because a lot of people see numbers and they don't know what numbers mean. And it may not mean, have the same meaning for somebody else on the internet. I have different codes of numbers that I go by. 1111 or 111 to me is that there is a leadership that is being prepared, or you are being prepared for leadership. It's also, one is about the beginning. So is a zero. Everything is about the beginning and coming into your divine destiny. When you see three, three, threes, that is, it's another way of God divine showing you that you are not alone. It's not the same as the angels is the four, 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 letting you know that you're not alone. Uh, three through threes is a family thing and families are coming together. So um, soulmates and reincarnated uh, souls who have been connected before, uh, they are joining together. Some call it, you know, the opening of the portals and that's fine too. Uh, there is no wrong interpretation. It's what resonates in your own heart. And by the way, my heart is sideways. So we're going to put your heart back in line into the center in the center of raven so since we have three wings messengers in a row so we want to look into the synchronicities as why are these messages coming in at this particular time look around you what other kinds of things that reminds you of a winged messenger such as an angel such as uh a feather that you found on the floor. I have lots of feathers in my house. I have parrots, so I can't really go by the feathers unless it's a particular long tail feather that one of them has shed. And then it's like, how did that get in here? Um, so look at the colors as well, because colors all have a, a vibration and an energy. And this one is kind of like there's darkness. And I kind of feel like darkness as far as sickness, our vibration all of a sudden kind of plummeted. You know, especially hearing about, you know, the new virus that's out. 
<clears throat> and I have a sore throat. My ears are kind of getting stuffed. But I'm not going to let somebody tell me that this virus is going to affect me. If you stay in a healthy lifestyle, when you meditate, you're getting divine energy in you that overpowers all sickness. So say, take some time today as Sunday is about the sun, the S-U-N and the S-O-N, the divine masculine, the creativity, and the the glory, the Shekinah, the glory of God that comes in from Saturday into Sunday that reveals itself because we had revealing uh, yesterday in the the hawk, the spirit of hawk. So here is divine energy is coming in. So spend some time meditation or just in a prayer. Take time to relax. It's okay to take a day or two or three or four, whatever you need to get healthy again. Drink some citrus, drink some water. Stay in your healthy vibration. And don't let news around you of all of these sicknesses get you down. Even if you have nothing, you have power within you. And I use essential oils to elevate me. I use resin. I go out and get some bark from a tree outside and burn it in your house. Burn it over your stove. <laughs> use it as, you know, a smudging. It does not matter what kind you use as long as you use something. And your body will respond to it. So stay healthy. Stay in the divine energy. And look for the synchronicities today. Thank you for joining me. Please leave me a comment, a heart, like the video. Also share it because you don't know who else is looking for some messages to empower them. And thank you for those who have joined me and my family. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're on YouTube, you want to hit it, the bell twice so that you get all of my videos. So thank you and I love you all.